Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel. So in this session, we will see how we can create and set up the Maven project in the VS Code. So before we create the Maven project in the VS Code, there are two prerequisites that we need to do on our system. So first one is Java and another one is Maven. So you need to install the JDK and set up the Java home in the environment variables. Okay, and then you need to download the Maven and you need to set up the Maven home in the environmental variables. Okay, once these two things are done, then you can create and set up the Maven project in the VS Code. So to check whether Java and Maven are available on your system or not, just use these commands Java hyphen version. Okay, it is not available. And for Maven, I will use MVN hyphen version. Okay, so both Java and Maven are not available on my system. So I cannot directly create the Maven project in the VS Code. So let's set up these two things on our system first. So to set up the Java on your system, just go to the official website of the Oracle and from here you can download the Java. So I will recommend to download the Java 17 from here. So depending upon your system, you can download the installer. So I have downloaded the installer. So you just need to install the Java. So just double click on the installer file. So this will open this window, just click on the next. So this is the location where Java will be installed, click on next. And within few seconds, Java will be installed properly on your local system. So once installation is done, Java will be installed in the program files. Okay, this is the JDK 7 and here our Java is available. Okay, so next step is we need to set up the Java home in the environmental variables. So in the window search, just search the environmental variables, enter, click on environmental variables. So here we need to click on new. I'm going to set the Java home first. So we need to tell the system where my Java is available on the machine. So this is the location where my Java is available. I will copy this location and add it here. Click on OK. So just double click on this path. So once we install the Java 17, it will by default give you the path of the Java, okay, by default. But still you can add the path for the Java home bin folder. Under the Java, we have this bin folder. So we need to provide this location of this bin folder as well. So here I will click on new. I will give percentage percentage sign inside that Java home. So this will bring the value that whatever we have set in the previous step backward slash and here I will give the bin folder. Okay, so we have successfully set up the Java on our system. Now to set up the Maven on your system, just go to the official website of the Maven, apache.org and here you will find the different Maven available. So you can download the latest one or you can, you can download the older version from here. So I have downloaded the 3.8.4 version, okay, already. So you can download any version as per your requirement. So Maven will be downloaded in the zip file. So you just need to extract it. Okay, it is extract. So now we need to tell the system where my Maven is available. So again, we need to set up the Maven home path. So copy this path. Again, open the environmental variables. Click on new. name and home and this is my value click on ok again double click on the path click on new percentage percentage this is maven underscore home slash bin folder okay so inside the maven you will find this bin as well so we need to set up that path up to the bin folder as well in the environmental variables Again, let's verify the installation, java hyphen version, okay, java 17 and maven version. Now you should be able to create and set up the maven project in the VS Code. So open the VS Code. First, you need to go to the extensions. Here, search java. So extension pack for the java, click on that and just click on install. So once we install this extension pack for the Java, we will get uh, Maven for Java as well. That is also required to create the Maven project. So this might take a couple of minutes to install all the extensions available in this extension pack for the Java. 
So once it is done, we need to restart the VS Code. So now let's create the Maven project. So on the left hand side, you will find the Explorer. So here you will find the option Maven. So you can create the Maven project from here or you can create a folder and inside that folder you can create the Maven project. Okay, so simple way, just click on this Maven and here you will find the plus that is showing create Maven project. Click on that. So this list is showing different types of archetype from which we can create the Maven project. Okay, so I want to create a basic Maven project that we can use for the artificial framework. So you can select this no archetype. Then here we need to provide the group ID for our Maven projects. So I can have multiple Maven projects inside a one group ID. So I will give com dot my Maven projects hit enter. Now we need to provide the artifact ID. So artifact ID is nothing but the name of your Maven project. My demo project hit enter. So now this will ask you where you want to save that Maven project on the local system. So you can provide any location as per your choice on the local system. So let's say I want to save this Maven project in the D drive VS code folder. So click on select destination folder. So within few seconds on the right hand side, you can see that Maven project, my demo project is created under the D drive VS code folder. So you can directly click on the open to open that Maven project in the VS code or I will show you how you can open it from the left hand menu. So to open that folder in the VS code, you can use this uh, no folder open, click on open folder or from the file, you can click on open folder. Now just go to the location where you have stored the Maven project. Select that folder and click on select folder. So that project will be opened in the VS code now. So basic structure of the Maven project will be created in the VS code. So it will contain SRC main Java and SRC main resources and SRC test Java. And this will contain the pom.xml file as well. So where you can add the different plugins and different dependencies that are required for your Maven project. So this is how you can create the Maven project in the VS code. So to set up all other things that are required to run this Maven project for our automation, we require different plugins, we require different dependencies. So all those things we need to add in the pom.xml file and different page classes you can create in the src main java and for the test cases you can use the test ng or j unit that we can add under the src test java in a package. So among all those things let me show you how you can add the plugins and different dependencies in the pom.xml file. So as we have added the Java 17, I will make here Java 17. So I want to use the 17, not the Java 8. So as we are using the 17 here, we need to make sure that Java 17 is installed and set up properly on your local system. So from the left hand menu, again click on the Maven and here you will uh, find the different things available for our Maven project. So currently it is showing this is the one Maven project it can see in the VS code. So this Maven project contain different life cycles then different plugins are also there. For example, uh, we required the compiler plugin to compile the test case, short path plugin to run our test case like that. Okay and under the dependencies it will show you all the dependencies that we have added in the pom.xml file. So to add the plugins as per your choice you can add those in the build attack. Then under the build we can add the plugins and under plugins we can have multiple plugins so I will use this plugin. So let's say I want the compiler plugin and this is the version that I want you can change the origin from here. So another plugin I can add the surefire plugin. So let's add few dependencies that we require for the automation. So dependencies you need to add in the dependencies tag. In the dependency we can have multiple dependency. So to add the dependencies in the VS Code Maven project, uh, you can just go to the MUN repository website and here we can search the different uh, dependencies. Let's say I want Selenium. I will open that dependency information and from the different versions, I can click on the version and I can add this information in my pom.xml file. Similarly, I want the testng as well. So I will search testng. And from the different versions, I will copy this 7.8.0 version. 
So to auto formatting this XML files in the VS Code, just press Ctrl A and Shift Alt F. Okay. So now just save this file. Ctrl S. So the moment you save it, it will download the dependencies depending upon the their versions from the Maven repository.com. So that information you can see in the dependencies. Okay, so it has downloaded the Selenium dependency and TestNG dependency. So this is how you can create the Maven project and set up the things uh, for the Maven project in the VS Code. So that is all for this session guys. Uh, please like and share this video if you find it informative. Thank you.